<laughs> yo, yo, welcome to the show, y'all. And today is a very special Coffee with G. It is the first respawn event ever, which is my opportunity to celebrate, engage, and give thanks to my amazing patrons. And now, let's get some of that magic darkness. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> I'm ready for some coffee, I need it. <sighs> mm. Oh yeah, let's get it on. And today we are drinking a Peruvian dark roast with hints of cocoa and just a little bit of smoke. <sighs> All right, let's jump in and get some respawn event going. Three things we're looking at today. First up is all my patrons have the opportunity to either vote or provide suggestions on old or recent games that I haven't reviewed that you'd like to see me do. Second up is all patrons were able to provide suggestions on topics that you would like to see me cover in Coffee with G's. And I'm stoked to talk about these y'all because you guys had some really good ideas. Third and final thing, if you're a $5 or a $10 patron, we're gonna do a raffle for one of you to win a free game. And without further ado, Let's jump in, and I thought, what better place to kick it and do the respawn event than in the Black Mesa Laboratory. I just finished the game, and yo, a review's coming out before the end of the weekend, so stay tuned for that. And ooh, I can't wait for you guys to see that, but good place to kick it, so let's get it on. All right. Let's hit the first one, which is old or recent games that I haven't played that you would like me to review. And I'm gonna put them up on the back here so you guys can see the results. And there's a bunch of games that everybody got a chance to vote on, which are titles that have just been kicking it in my inventory for a long time. And they're titles that every time I look back on them, I think, God, I want to play that game so bad, but I just haven't had time or I haven't prioritized it. So everybody had a chance to vote on that or I put a suggestion box below if there was another game out there not on the list that you would like me to review. So let's start there because the first game was a recommendation and it is Stalker. Y'all, my favorite franchise of all time. Yo, I think everybody either looks back on a game or a franchise and just holds that so close and dear to them as either something transformational or just an experience that was so unforgettable and ends up becoming something they compare all games to. And for me, that is the Stalker franchise. It's absolutely amazing. I appreciate the suggestion and I will take it under consideration. Unfortunately, it didn't get the most votes here, but I'm gonna keep it on the table because it is my number one. All right, let's take a look at the list of games I put up for everybody to vote on because we do have a majority winner. There was Pathological 2, no votes. Soma, one. Hellblade Sonoa Sacrifice, one vote. Dishonored 2, one vote. Disco Elysium, one vote. And Outlast 2, three votes and the winner. And yo, I don't know if you guys have ever played Outlast 1, but it is scary as shit. And wow, it was an incredible game to play. I never got around to the second one, you know, I think Honestly, I saw a review online and there were a lot of changes that they made to the game that I was not digging, but you know, the first one was so good that it's always been on my list of one that I want to go back to and play because it really had some incredible scary moments and the story was just this awesome sci-fi adventure. So ah, that is the winner. Outlast 2 coming up as soon as something dies down. It's really busy right now. We've got 
Black Mesa, Half-Life Alex, and Doom. But as soon as there's a little bit of a lull, I'm gonna sneak Outlast 2 in there. So thank you guys for voting. I really appreciate it. And I don't think that I've actually reviewed a scary game yet. So I, I love the horror genre. It's one of my favorites, especially when they mix it in with first person, open world. And Outlast is a little bit more scripted and linear, of course, but, ooh, <clears throat> I can't wait. Oh, I should even do some Coffee with G's where I stream it and we can have some fun together getting freaked out because uh, that would be a good time. So thank you all for your votes. Outlast 2, baby! Woo-wee! <laughs> All right, let's hit the next one, which is topic suggestions for Coffee with G. And yo, everybody sent in some awesome suggestions. One in particular had three different people request it. So let's hit that one first, which is gear. Both Akash, Opus, and Nolivan suggested I talk about gear, either my rig, gear in general, or what gear specifically that I use. And yo, this is a really exciting topic for me because I'm super into following gaming hardware and the evolution of the tech, and also just finding the perfect accessories so that I can create my own little spaceship Ebekeneza Command Center. <laughs> it's important making sure that every little thing possible is just how you want it to maximize your gaming experience. I love that shit, so thank you guys very much, and I will absolutely be doing a Coffee with G about gear. Next up was a request from Reagan for me to talk about my scariest moments in the horror genre. <laughs> and yo, there are some horror games and some horror moments that absolutely are burned into my mind. I will never forget them. So great suggestion. I will absolutely be doing that and sounds fun as hell. So thank you. Next topic suggestion that came in was how to be healthy with playing video games. And it's kind of a vague suggestion, but it's also an absolutely incredible one because there are so many different things that I could talk about here. And I gotta say that I really have been sitting with this suggestion and just meditating on it for a while because all sorts of stuff started coming up for me when I started to consider what actually makes a healthy gamer. And you know, there's all sorts of typical or surface level topics that get discussed all the time, like violence in video games or, you know, being in front of a screen for too long, especially for younger kids and, you know, what it means to build relationships online versus actually, you know, being there in person with somebody. And, you know, all that is good stuff to talk about, sure. A lot of it's been actually researched and we know a lot about what, you know, the impacts are on people. But what about deeper, yo? <laughs> and I ain't talking about subcutaneous, I'm talking about going down the rabbit hole and actually taking the time to make ourselves vulnerable to really exploring what it means to be a healthy gamer or to have games in our life in a healthy way. And I wanna share a little bit with you guys about myself. I am someone who's done a lot of deep and difficult emotional and mental work on myself over a long period of time. I've done a ton of therapy, which I'm a huge advocate for, and a ton of transformational work with my amazing wife. And I gotta say that absolutely, there are a ton of things that I've taken from that work and injected into my relationship with gaming. I love this idea, so thank you again to my patron who recommended it. It's an absolutely killer idea with just tons of different things that I can draw from to talk about. And it's absolutely an important conversation for us to have. So thank you and hell yeah. Next up is a suggestion from Cardonovisk of The Zone. Thank you so much, who recommended talking about when and why I got into gaming. Ah, yes, the origins. How did it all begin? <laughs> That's a great idea. Thank you so much. What? Soundtracks and video games is the next suggestion from patron Hawkeye. Ah, soundtracks. 
Ever since I was a little kid, I loved soundtracks in movies, and you know, as I became a gamer, I absolutely loved music in video games, all the way from 8 to 16 and 32 bit, and now we've got full orchestras creating these amazing scores, and yeah, it's so important and can totally make or break an experience. So I love the idea and will absolutely use that for a copy with G. Thank you. Last suggestion came from patron Tango, who actually gave me two suggestions. The first one being best or my favorite character arc in a video game. And second, my thoughts on early access, which yeah, I have a lot to say about that. Thank you so much for both those great suggestions. I will absolutely use those in upcoming Coffee with G's. And again, thank you all. Wow, I am just blown away. It's so cool to get this feedback from you guys that's gonna inspire future content. When I use your suggestion, I'll totally be giving everyone props as well. So thanks again. I can't wait to create this stuff for you guys. Okay, last up, the raffle, 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 raffle. All right, let's get it on. <laughs> it's raffle time, y'all, and if you are a $5 or a $10 patron, you are about to participate in a chance to win a free game. So, let's get it on. Super Spark! Whoa! Uh, uh, Super Spark, baby! Uh. Yo, congratulations to Super Spark. I'll be reaching out to you via Patreon to hook you up, so start thinking about what game you want because it is now yours. <laughs> Yo, I had so much fun kicking it with you guys today doing the first respawn event. And before we close out, I got to give a shout out to all my patrons. This is for you. You know, I couldn't be doing this without you guys. You gave me hope over the last couple years as I started learning and building this thing. And now I'm doing it full time and I couldn't be doing it without you guys. You know, it just blows my mind that I'm making this work and a lot of it has to do with you, your support, your contributions, your engagement. All of you are absolutely amazing and I'm going to cry. But I just, uh, I want to say thank you. It means a lot to me and I'm so excited for the future. So, you know, I appreciate you and it means the world to me and I can't wait. I can't wait to do more. All right, let's kill that Joe. Ah. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on the first Respawn event. Leave a comment below and let me know what you liked, what you want to see more of, or if you have any ideas about how we could make this thing cooler. This is for you guys. So I want to have some fun and get some feedback and keep growing it together. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and yo, if you're part of my community but you don't currently support me on Patreon, please kindly consider it. I absolutely need the support and whatever you can donate means the world to me and if you can't right now it's all good please just continue to enjoy my content and maybe share with a friend or something whenever you can i'm just glad to have you here with me on this ride oh guys <laughs> i got something special ah. yeah oh yeah <laughs> came in just the other day. Oh yeah, baby, the Valve Index. Oh, I'm so stoked for this. Yo, Half-Life Alex releases on Monday, so get prepared for some fucking badass content. I can't wait to make it for you guys. <laughs> All right, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and y'all know how we do. I will see you on the next Kerms Garage. GG. Shut <laughs>